Hello everyone, this is Casual Prince 8 or Sam here, and welcome back to another episode on The Walking Dead. The reason we're starting on the title screen is because last episode we finished episode 1, A New Day, and today obviously we're going to be working on to episode 2, Starved for Help. So, without further ado, let's get on into this. So, we're based at the motel at the moment, and I suppose... Excuse me. I suppose it's just... Oh. Previously on the Walking Dead. Oh, we, got, we get a previously. Fucking I got a good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. <laughs> It's either him or your son. I say it's him. Goddamn right. Out on his ass with those things. Yeah, the damn right, Kenny. I hate that guy so much. Oh my god, please don't remind me. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. You watch yours, mister. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. So here we are, I guess. And there's Lee. Pi-yow! Three months later, so it looks like we're heading into autumn now. Ooh. Damn. What'd they get this time? Uh, a bunny. A rabbit. rabbit. Uh, well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me. I have no regrets. Well, okay. rabbit's hardly a meal, Martha. I'd take it. We're all hungry. No Damn problem. right, I guess. I suppose that's why this episode's called when Starve for Help. Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, Carly's a good girl. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Uh... Yeah, we'll manage. Come on, let's be uh maybe. Let's be optimistic. Too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Maybe I should handle things. She's an idiot. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, hopefully. Between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. I'm sure he would, it's Kenny. No, he won't abandon us, it's Kenny. Kenny. Abandon us. He's a good man. He is. I guess we'll see. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? Oh, not again. Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. He's an asshole to everyone, just particularly me. Um... I'm. I'm just gonna say it. It's my opinion. Racist asshole. That's his deal. Well, he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. Yeah, exactly. We should all be out here trying to find food. Exactly. He thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. Really? Yeah. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. Didn't he punch you in the face one time? 
knock me flat. Yeah, blooming almost killed me if it weren't for Kenny. Hmm. Don't do it, Mark. It's a long shot. I hate to waste the bullets. Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. Oh. Shit. Was that Kenny? I no, that that didn't sound like Kenny. That wasn't Kenny. Kenny has a different scream. Trust me. I know what people scream sound like. So, that was definitely someone. Yep, keep screaming, we'll use you. Oh god, what's happened? Oh god, it's a bear trap! Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Oh, it's Kenny. Get it off, get it off, god damn it, get, get it off me! Travis! Oh. They can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is we're not gonna hurt you? It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Can't shut up. Us. We're not to going to. to yeah. Up. Lee, this is fucked up. We gotta help. You. Please, Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. No, you really don't, kid. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. We gotta get him out of there. Yeah, we'll oh, try. God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Oh, God, here come the walkers. The trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh, dear me. Oh, no. You calm down. Calm down. Everyone be calm. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. There's only one way out of this. Of me. He's lost so much blood already. Wait, maybe oh, maybe we can try and chop that. Try and Stop, snap no, no. it off. Fuck. Try, try once more. Once more and then we're going to have to chop it. No, we can't. We're going to have to chop the leg. We can't do anything else. the trap again and it, it has to be now uh, uh, oh damn it we just got come on again ah uh, oh oh one more oh come on really i swear we'll be bleeding out more than that there we go there we go there we go there we go Come on, come on, come on. Get him up. Is he he passed out. You caught David. I don't really get that. We couldn't have done anything else. He's alive. Grab him and let's go. Well, I, su I suppose we could have left him. Behind you. Travis! Come on, come on. We got to move. <sighs> Turn around and wait. Oh my gosh, what an idiot. Oh, okay. Yep, he's gone. Oh, those were intestines. The Walking Dead. Let's move on swiftly from that. Wow, what an introduction. That was crazy. So we're still at the motel. Episode two, star for help. Oh, look at look at Larry. Oh yeah, that's such tiring work, isn't it? Beating a little plank with a rock. Come on. Look at Clem. Looks like we're all a bit under the weather. Oh.
Don't shoot, Lily. It's just us. It's us. <laughs> oh, that is going to really distract her. <laughs> Look at Larry, he's like, eee. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Oh, for crying out loud! What happened? Oh, what the hell? What's going on? We have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee! I, I don't know. Lee! What? What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Shut up. Calm down? He would have died. I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are oh, you did not. We come across. We have to focus on our group right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries. Oh my gosh. No. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <laughs> Welcome to the family, kid. Yeah. Come over here and see what I drew. But what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This Technically, I'm the leader. Personal dictatorship. Oh, come on. You're being dramatic. No, he's not. Everything I agree with Kenny every every word. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I, I didn't ask to lead this group. No, I should have led the group. The food when there was enough to go Kenny around. is now right. Out, suddenly, I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. I agree. I'm with Kenny all the way on this one. End of story. Thanks, Kenny. Catch a He's a bro. Kick him out of here. Send them out on their own. I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. He can protect his family by himself, thanks. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Yeah, go and beat a plank with a rock, you know, Larry, because I don't if like you. If you're doing such a shitty job, then you do it. Fine. I think I do a better job than you. You decide who gets to eat. Yeah, I will. No, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. I think I'll do a better job than you, Lily. Jesus. So, ten hungry people, four food items. Well, okay, this is going to be hard. Clem and Kenny take priority. Carly, I don't know, because she didn't really... I thought she would have taken more of a side with us. So, um, I think, first off, I want to I wanna give... I want to give... Where's Clem? Clem... Clam, clam, clam. They're doing good joints. Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Of course. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. She's such a, such a legend. Yeah, first off, let's give Clem some food, because she's our girl and we need to take care of her. Here, Clem, you need something to eat. 
uh, piece of jerky, half an apple. Let's give her the... F uh, actually, hold on. We'll give her the piece of jerky. Yeah, that's like half. Okay. That's the second best thing. Better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, she's joking. Food. Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we need to get some food? I think he's a... Can I just say, I know he's... And I know he's like a child, but I think he's a bit more, I don't know, really, immature than Clem. But first, we need to go give the food to Kenny. I will give him some because he's the legend that sided with me. Uh, we'll give Crackers and Cheese. Here, Kenny, take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Oh, uh, yeah. No. Come talk to me once my boy's taken care of. Okay, fair enough. So three pieces of food left. Let's feed duck. Then I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna feed. Katja, um, Kenny's wife. Katja, what? However you say it. Oh my God! Look at his face. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll give him half an apple. Oh heck yes! Is there peanut butter? Oh. <laughs> what do you think, duck? No, probably not. See, I'm just saying he's a bit inconsiderate. Uh, I don't know whether... Well, I'm, first off, I'm going to go give food to Kenny. Because he's a legend. Crackers and cheese. Here, Kenny, take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yep. Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. You're welcome, buddy. I'm always looking out for you. Oh, now this is the choice. Do I save the last piece of food for either Katja or Mark? That's who I think it's going to be between. Or do I keep the last piece for myself? Oh, that's a hard one. Um... Hmm. I really don't know. I'm really. I've. I, I think I'm. I'm definitely gonna save the last piece of food well, for someone some of these else. people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Yes. Now the now the choice is between is between. Uh, hold on. Let me get over here first. It's between Katja. Or he's over here somewhere. Mark. Will you hold the damn board steady? Oh my god. I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. You're not getting any food. Well, I think I think Katja was doing okay. I think she was doing okay. So I'm gonna give the food to Mark. Here. Eat something. Oh, you get cracking. I think he's getting really weak. Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Oh, I don't know about that. Is he going to give us a choice? Oh. Oh, well, this is a bit of an obvious one. I think I'm going to give it to Larry. No. Larry doesn't deserve anything, because you tried to kill me. I'm going to give my axe to Mark. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. No, you're not. Did you think to give me the axe? No. Come on, Larry, give it a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Is that what you told him? Um... Uh, uh, um, maybe? You know what? Yeah, that's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Oh, you do not want to go there. Start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. Oh my goodness me. He is so annoying. I'm off. Peace in the scene. <clears throat> well, I guess that beats a rock. 
the way Lai was doing it. Not such an easy job, is it? Um, kind of was. Seeing as there's not many nice people around. I know you're still watching out for me. Yeah, yeah, of course, Carly, because you're awesome. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. Personally, I thought it was pretty easy. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. You are very welcome. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Uh, Larry. What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. Oh! Talk, old man. Yeah, really? Well, I don't see you working on that wall. Yeah, he's out hunting for your food. You're not doing that. Jeez, I'm with Kenny all the way. Come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. Oh, God dear. damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. <laughs> Come back. There's nothing... Let him go. What? He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. It has. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Yeah. At least he's not our problem anymore. True. What about the other kid? I suppose he could stay with us. <laughs> oh! Uh, come on! Come on! Get off him! Get off her, sorry. Axe! 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 Oh no! Ah! 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 Okay. Uh, there we go. One more. Oh, I missed. Ah! Get off me. Get off. I said get off. Get get off. You stupid teacher. Oh, get away, get away, get away, get away. Get away. Ah! Uh, 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 I need to... Oh, oh, God. Oh, no, not that. There we go. Oh. Oh, that was not nice. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed. Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word. But no. He bitten, I swear. Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife. What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. I know. Come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. All of us. God help us. God help us. It makes sense. In those first few days, it spread so fast. I know. Accidents, suicides. Everything was making more of them. When I first saw exactly. it. Exactly. We were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Oh, no. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God. Oh, my God. Jesus. Back off! Whoa, we got, we got survivors. Relax. Me and my brother, we, we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. Carly... We don't want any trouble. Want any trouble. Of course, uh, neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother, Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Oh, I like that. Our generators run on gas. Look. We own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. Well, they might have food. We got plenty at the dairy. Exactly. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. Okay. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. Yeah. So, uh, what do y'all think? Uh, yeah, we'll go to the day. I'm, I'm curious to see what happens if we stay, though. Yeah, but we'll go to the dairy. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. 
A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. Hmm, okay then. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And awesome. We, grow, we got plenty of food. Why is Ben coming with us? Away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. I shot with Kenny 24/7. Kenny keeps us motivated. He's an amazing guy. Kenny keeps us motivated. He believes in hope and knows how important it is for us not to give that up. I can't fault him for that. Or maybe you just don't want to be in charge. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Larry, cough, cough, Larry. Does anyone else know? I have to tell the truth. Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Nope. Not at all. He was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? Uh, it wasn't an accident. I know that much. You know, you know what happened. I only know what the press was told. I don't know your story. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. Are you insane? Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Exactly. I'm sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, yeah. over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. Mm. I uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God. See, Carly's got her back. Rightly? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Oh, here we go. Uh, yep. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all okay. seem pretty settled in at that motor in. Uh, who's running things over there? Oh, uh. We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. Well, that's not really true. So many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. K uh, Larry, Larry, Larry. People you got over there, anyway. Uh, yeah. Nine, including the kids. You forgot Ben. Me? That makes it ten. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for. Well, as long as I can remember, but now it's. You getting... think you're gonna cut me out of this? Whoa. Damn. Who is that? No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always hooking this. Bandits. Who? Bandits. Oh, man, my camp. Garbage. Fuck you. You knew yes. we were hungry. And you guys were oh, hungry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, you know what? More. We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered. It's all in yeah. I'm surprised they can't see us. There's a lot. Oh ho! Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! Asshole! That is a massive waste of ammo. Shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Jesus, they must be psychotic. Shouldn't we? Why don't we search him? It looks like he's got a blooming crossbow. Could be Dowell Dixon's crossbow for we know. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Here it is. I haven't actually watched the the actual Walking Dead TV show. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. It looks really good. You betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. Awesome. We're pushing four thousand volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Yeah. Yes, and that's their mom. Uh, yeah, I'm curious. It's safer here than out there. This place True. is untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. Yeah, exactly. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mom. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. Is that food? Bacon. Food! All oh, mom hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. 
Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Are you kidding me? This is the zombie apocalypse. I've got things under control over there. Well, this is zombie apocalypse. We all have survival experience. Hold on. I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh, yeah. Uh, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Yeah. It don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Plus, I, I didn't say that anyone was running. We were awful hungry. These are for y'all. Thank you. <gasps> like that anymore Not with hallelujah that's right hopefully maybe i will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while hopefully I was sick. What she... we have a vet that we could bring her here but we can help you folks out a vet oh my our prayers have been answered yay our whole group could come for the day well how about this Y'all go get your veterinary friend, and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. A feast! A blooming feast! Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I take Ben. Myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. See you, Collie. Mark, Ooh. why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Was okay. Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd okay. be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. And you can learn a little something about our fence. I'm going to go top off the generator before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. Okay. This place is incredible. I know. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Um. First off, I want to make sure the place is safe. That electric fence doesn't look as stable as they as they tell us that it is. Think about bringing our whole group here to stay. We need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Yeah. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. It's not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the yeah, probably. Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. The posts don't look very sturdy. If a simple body can knock them over. But man, this could work. Alright guys, so I think we're going to stop this episode here. Thanks a lot for watching everyone. If you did enjoy the video, then make sure to uh, leave a like and comment on the video. And also, if this happens to be the first video that you've seen by me, then go to my channel and subscribe for daily gaming videos. Let's have a look at this. You can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. <laughs> yeah. Just walk into it, zap ourselves. <laughs> Again, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. And I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye, guys.